All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Wadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechak, Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And we're also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, we're just going to get into a quick lesson about, you know, how can there anything good come out of, uh, you know, good, good, any good thing come out of Nazareth. All right. Which, you know, pretty much in modern day terms, can any good thing come out the hood? You know, mm -hmm. because um, when you um, go into the history of Nazareth. All right. And that's where, um, you know, Yahweh Shai, he was, uh, you know, basically, you know, where he grew up. Right. You know, it would be considered the ghetto, you know, of the, you know, in that, you know, um, you know, that time era. OK. All right. And, you know, that's what, you know, most people think of today. Can anything good come out of, you know, like I said, the hood, you know, you know, can any good thing come out of, you know, the south side of Chicago? Can any good thing, you know, come out of, uh, you know, uh, you know, the Bronx, you know what I mean? Out yeah. there in New York. You know what I'm saying? You know, any good thing come out of Detroit, so on and so forth, you know? All right? And look, and the, and the answer is yes. All right? Through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, all right, the Lord is waking up His men right now. Hey, they're turning away from their wicked, you know, wicked deeds and acts and ways, all right? And they're now following the path of righteousness. You see, a lot at the end of the day, that's going to surprise a lot of people, man. All right? It's going to surprise a lot of people because no one's going to expect... You know, what they will call losers, low life, thugs, etc., be the Lord's chosen people. All right, but uh, we can start off with that first uh, for the uh, with that John. Okay, it's, uh, it's all right. This is um John one, and starting at verse forty six. And Nathaniel said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip saith unto him, Come and see. Yahweh Shai saw Nathanael coming to him and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no God. Yeah, so point being though is that in that verse 46, all right, can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? All right. And like I said, you know, yes, there is. And right there, we, we just saw an example of that. And the reason why uh, Yahweh Shai behold an Israel, he, the reason why he said behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no God is because he was speaking pure words, okay? He was speaking the truth, basically, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, he, he didn't, you know, have a tainted doctrine, tainted philosophy, okay? Because the scriptures even talk about that. It was in that Revelation, the 14th chapter. It talks about how there was no guile found in their mouth. Okay. This is, uh, I'll get it real quick, Revelation 14. And, uh, you know, I'll start from the top. Main point is in 5, but we're going to start from verse 1. This is uh, Revelation 14 and 1, and it reads, And I looked, and lo... A lamb, which that represents Yahweh Shai, stood on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And uh, a quick side note: when you go into that, um, into the, uh, the basically the name of the father in that um, in this uh, 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 verse here, when you look it up in the Greek, now they changed it in the blue letter. But years ago, it, it, uh, when you looked uh, that word up, it said the father's name and the son's name. Okay, but they, they switched it up because over time, since uh, starting out with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, since they've been using the Blue Letter Bible to get more in depth with these scriptures, okay, they've changed a couple of, uh, of, uh, of these words, okay, these definitions that they once had. Okay, because if you look it up, up now, it's just going to say the father's name. But like I said, because I've looked this up, Years before, and it said the father's name and the son's name. So you got to have both names, okay? All right? And the true names, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all right? Let me keep reading. That was just a side note, you know, for you brothers out there. Um, verse 2, it says, And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, and they sung as it were a new song. Before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth, and that's talking about how the elect they're gonna understand this word, okay, the Bible in its entirety, okay, 
They're not. They're, 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 they're going to uh, speak the truth of the scriptures. Okay? And those are the only ones that can really teach this word. And that's a very, very small number. And that's why the majority of the world, they don't believe the message that's being pushed forth. Because they're the only ones that could really understand it. Mm -hmm. And I'll say this, the one-third, they're more of believers. You know, they don't really break down the scriptures like the prophets will do. The prophets are set up to teach the message, okay? To break these things down, to... To teach you the, the was it the holy and the uh, and the profane, okay? You know how to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, let me keep reading. And it says uh, verse four: These forty-four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Verse four: These are they which were not defiled with women. Talking about other philosophies, okay? Mm -hmm. For they are virgins. That's just meaning that they're pure. That doesn't mean that they're um, actual virgins, you know, physically speaking. Because uh, basically a virgin represents, you know, purity. Because they haven't been touched, mm -hmm. okay? You know, they're uh, fresh, so to speak. And it says, These are they which follow the Lamb with soever he goeth. Which, like I said earlier, that Lamb represents Yahweh Shai. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. Okay, and that, that that's that that's heavy. Mm -hmm. All right, because remember, um, when you go into uh, your 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 firstborn son, they were basically an offering unto the Lord, and they the the, the hundred and forty four thousand they the, the, they're the uh, uh, like those first sons, man. Okay, that's why what does it say? It, ta it talks about how we do what we're the uh, that living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Present your body as a living sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. You know? Our reasonable service. Yep, it's our reasonable service, you know? All right? This is something that, is, you know, is required of us. But point being, though, hey, we're the first fruits, Lord willing, man. That's heavy. And that's why the Lord wants us. Because they, 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 that's His. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's His. I've actually, uh, I've said it before, you know? It's like when you have, when you have company coming into your house, right? You want to you wanna make sure when you go to the store, you get the best fruit. The mm -hmm. best vegetables, whatever the case may be, right? And you put all your best stuff on the plate. That's yeah. what you're gonna serve to to your 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 company. And then you ha you might have some fruit or vegetables or whatever that's is decent, but it ain't the best. You put them off to the side. That's of the one third. And then you got those that are beat up, bruised, maybe have some uh, uh you know growth on it from fungus or something. Yeah, some that's the two third. You know, <laughs> that's the shit you don't want. You know. And that's exactly how the Lord did it. He picked his best fruits, right? And that's that's what you know. That, well, that's why we call ourselves hopeful elects, because you know we're trying to be of the best. That's right. You know, uh, verse five, and in their mouth was found found no guile. Mm -hmm. All right, and, it, and it's because they didn't, you know, speak a, a, a basically vanity falsehood. Mm -hmm. Okay, they spoke the truth. They had the words of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, which the words of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai are what? Pure. Right. Okay? Not tainted. Okay? So it says, uh, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. And Lord willing, you know, we uh we are that number because you know we don't want to have any fault, man. You know? We we, we don't want to be, you know, have, you know, uh, you know, a blot on us, right. so to speak. Alright? But um, but that's it, you know, that's uh, it on that scripture. But point being that that's the backup of what uh, Yahweh Shai said, all right, when he said, Behold an Israel, Israelite, indeed in whom is no guile, mm -hmm. all right? Because, look, there's going to be men out there, all right, that, you know, hey, they may have done some messed up things in the flesh. They may have fallen, okay? Mm -hmm. But their spirit, man, their spirit is pure. And what they, you know talk about what they preach what they do indeed is pure man you know all right you see but um that's it on that uh can we get that wisdom of solomon the fifth chapter wisdom because of solomon yep because a lot of you uh, uh people man like i said uh earlier a lot of pe people are going to be uh, a lot of you people out there are going to be surprised all right when you see the true men of the lord all right it's going to be far-fetched you know you're going to be like what yeah it's like, D 
these guys, you, 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 look how rough they are. They got mm-hmm. big beards. And they, they're, 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 they're swearing a lot, cursing. All the, right? These guys are unkempt. You know? <laughs> All they're right? not clean looking. Exactly, you know? Metro Joe oh, well, Where's things. their big church? Or where's their, you know, where's their big congregation? See, you know what I'm saying? That's what these people, because in this world, they think gain is godliness. Mm-hmm. And that's not the truth, okay? All right? What does the scripture say about those that are well well favored among men? You know, you you don't want that. That means you're doing it wrong. You got you got to be like the prophets from back then. They were hated. Yep. That's how you know you're doing it right. Yep. Because why? The world is in, in, in full of darkness, and they're allergic to the light. So when you come bringing out the light, it's like roaches, man. They want to run. Mm-hmm. You know, that's right. But this is uh this is wisdom of Solomon chapter five. I'm going to start at verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him. Yep, and that's what we're doing, okay? All right, we're standing up. Standing bold as a lion. Yep, and that's because the Lord put the spirit of life in us. And that's well, that was prophesied in the book of Revelation, the 11th chapter. How these two uh, prophets, there, which that represents the you know northern southern kingdom, all right? How they were to stand on their feet, okay? See, the Lord gave us that breath of life again. Mm-hmm. Now we're, you know, living, you know, once again, all right? The, 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 the spirit, which is the word, hath quickened us, meaning it has made us alive, okay. all right? We're not just out here, all right, we're, you know, worrying about the next party, okay? The next playoff game, you know, the, ne- you know, the, the next girl we can deal with, all right? You know, the next, you know, uh, you know uh, way to make money. No, we're not worried about these things anymore. Mm-hmm. We don't care about the cares of this life anymore. Hey, we're, we're, we're worried about pleasing our power, which is Yahweh, you know, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. All right? That, that's what we're focused on. And we're focused on the things to come, not the things that are here, that are, uh, as the scriptures talk about, how this world is what? Bypassing, the fashion of this world is passing away. We're not worried about that anymore. Right. We don't care. We don't want to be, you know, entangled with this place. All right? For, for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? That's right. With light and darkness. You know, there, there is no fellowship. Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? The answer is no. If you're not dealing with the Lord, then, you know, I mean, this is just, you know, coming from, from us that deal with the Lord. If you're not dealing with the Lord, there's no, re- there's no reason to be speaking with you. Because chances are, you know, the, the, the people in the world are going to try to pull us back into the world. Or, you know, we're going to be trying to break, you know, try to break some kind of bread with them, you know, to get them to understand as far as the Lord goes. And they ain't trying to hear it. So mm-hmm. what's the point? You know, that's why you should only deal with those that are like minded, like the scripture said. Yep. You know, that's right. Um, you want me, you want me to continue reading? Yeah, uh, start from uh, the top of that uh, first uh, verse. Okay. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him mm-hmm. and made no account of his labors. Exactly. And Esau hasn't made a, uh, an account of our labors, the heathens, even two thirds of our own people. Mm-hmm. You know, all right, especially when it comes down to this ministry, they, they, these people don't think it's uh, anything of, uh, of of importance, man. Mm-hmm. They don't see the significance of it. Keep going. Okay. Uh, verse two: When when they see it, they shall be troubled with terror, terrible mm-hmm. fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Exactly. When those chariots come, okay. That, that, that's going to shock them. They're going to be in awe when the chariots, you know, pop out. And especially once they start, you know, what they would call, you know, beaming somebody up, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. And they, you know, oh, by the way, those chariots are what this world calls, what we call a UFO. All right. right. You see, you, you got Esau. He's, uh, um, he's basically made mockery of the Most High and his, you know, uh, his vehicles, his, you know, the angels that are in them. All right, you know he talks about little green men, little aliens. Mm-hmm. All right, either they're they're one of those little green men, or they they're some crazy thing looking like the predator or something. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or or the movie Alien. You know, one of them bug out. You know, creatures. Mm-hmm. But really, it's, it's angels that look like us. All right. You see, you know. And the the reason why he does that is because he wants the whole world to have this ideal that when they see these things, to attack these things. Yep. You know. To 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 spin the the narrative, yep. Well, if you will, or or don't believe it at all, right? You know, 
And see, but when they come, hey, the, the, the people are going to be in awe. They're going to, you know, take up the elect. And p people are going to be amazed. Because it's going to be strange. It's going to be something out of this world, literally. Okay? Yep. It's going to be out of this world. And people are going to be like, what? Okay? It's like, yeah, like, like the second part of that, that, that verse. It says, so, uh, the strangest of his salvation mm -hmm. so far beyond all that they look for. Mm. That's right. <laughs> what? The, wait, it's not Joel Osteen taking up? It's not T.D. Snakes being taken up? You know, they're going to see like some some regular looking people, you know, and then they're going to see people that they didn't even think were uh, were the Lord's people. Wait, I thought I thought the, the, the Israelites supposed to be looking like this, but there's people that look like that. You know, oh, yeah, That's you know, the, the, the Israelite foreigners and such. It's going to amaze a lot of people, man. And, and then they're going to be wondering why they stuck down here. And your family members going to be seeing you going up and be like, what? You know, I thought he was bugged out. You know, it, it, him, and they're going to be trying to grab you, and you're just going to be going up. And at that play, they, when, when you like get beamed up, look, it, it's not meant for somebody that's defiled, man, all right? Somebody that's wicked. Mm -hmm. you, you're not going to make it, man. You're not coming with us, you know, so to speak. Lord willing, we're those men, okay. all right? You're not meant to be, you know, with us. We're going to be like Enoch, man. We're going to be translated, all right, so we, we, you know, we don't get polluted with this world, all right? All right. We don't get destroyed with this world. Oh, like that, okay. like that film, uh, the the knowing. You seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, at the very end, you know, throughout the film, it, the the angels took from the very beginning, <laughs> from the very beginning, you know, uh, these these children, and you know, throughout the whole film, they they were getting signs of such, and at the end, the angels came. You know, they were in human form, but then all of a sudden, they changed into their 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 godly form. You know. And then they took the children with it, but they had the, the the parents stay back because the parents were defiled. The children were not; they were yep. pure. Exactly, because you know? yeah, Yahweh Shai talks about how you gotta be as the, you know these little children. Mm -hmm. See, the Lord wants somebody that you know, you know they 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 humble themselves because children are humble. You know, naturally, you know they want to learn. You know, some something new. They want to and another thing is too. They want to be pleasers, so to speak. They want to, you know, please their parent. Mm -hmm. See, that's what we're trying to do. Unlike. He ate the rest of our people, man. Right. They're out of the goddamn minds, man. Doing what they want to do. Little, you know, bad kids. I'll put it like that. Yep. You know, but let's keep reading. Okay. Yeah. This is verse three. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit mm -hmm. shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision yep, and a proverb of reproach. Yep. Basically, you know, <laughs> the people that, you know, we put down. People that we call a bunch of, you know, uh, uh, porch monkeys, all right? A bunch of, you know, wetbacks, you know, uh, you know, border hoppers, whatever they call us, beaners, etc. Whatever the, the hell they call us, man. Mm -hmm. Spooks, you know? Whatever derogatory term, they're going to be like, these, these are the ones that, that, that are, you know, getting beamed up? All right? <laughs> Keep going, Ock. Verse 4. We fools accounted his, his life madness exactly see after at the end of the day and after the fact of all this they're, these people are going to be like we were the foolish ones we're, 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 we're the dummies you know at the mm -hmm. end of the day and we were talking all this you know this smack about you know these guys for you know preaching every week telling them that they were bums go get jobs all right you know these guys in dresses the 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 what did they call us you know rapists whatever they 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 say anything and everything mm -hmm. about us all right we said all these things you know about them all right but but these are the ones all right that the lord is going he's picking and choosing you know he keep going on okay so the wisdom of solomon verse uh chapter five verse four from the, from the top of that it says we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor Mm -hmm. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? Oh, yeah. they, they think we're wasting our time. Right. They really think we're wasting our time, but we're not. And the reason why is because, see, this world, they have to, uh, in order for them to believe, they have to have something tangible, you know? Exactly. You know, something in front of them where they can touch it, see it, taste it, you know, hear it, smell it, in order for them to believe. Okay? And see, we, 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 we walk by faith, not by sight. You know, so they, they think we're... We're out of our goddamn minds, man. Mm -hmm. These people probably think we belong in the mental institute. You know? <laughs> Good. I'll be that. Exactly. 
Keep reading that. How, how is he numbered among the children of the Most High? Yeah, that's going to confuse them. Because they, like the brother said, hey, well, first off, they're expecting a, a white, you know, white JC to come down. Right. And with that being said, if, if they believe in white JC, they're going to think that all so-called white people are the, 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 the Lord's, you know, children. Mm-hmm. Right? And that th- those are the ones who are supposed to be taken up. See, this world, they, they're, they're not going to expect that the Lord is going to come back, all right, looking like a, you know, a so-called black guy. That's going to bug them the hell out. They're going to be like, what the fuck? They're literally going to be tweaking, man, when they see this. <laughs> all right? And then, you know, then they're going to see a, the, the Lord's people getting taken up, so-called black, Latinos, Native Americans. Those are the, that's how we look, uh, mainly look. And the, but then, as the brother mentioned before, hey, you're going to have Israelites that look like the, the, the actual heathen, too, getting taken mm-hmm. up. And that's going to freak people out, too. They're going to be like, what the hell? Because then, cause you're going to have certain Israelites that are, you know, all, all pro-black only. Mm-hmm. We call them, what is it, uh, BHIs, but the black Hebrew Israelite, you know, cats. All right, the ones that you, you basically got to be dark-skinned, woolly hair, and that's it. Mm-hmm. If you don't have the, those traits, you're, you're, you're just a heathen. Then you got some of them that are like, okay, cool. You know, we don't believe in that, but we only believe in what the 12 tribe chart says. That's it to the T. Right. There can't be anything else outside of that. Those groups are going to be like, what the hell is going on when they, like I said, when they see somebody that looks like you know, Bruce Lee, somebody that looks like, a, a, what's that DJ's name, DJ Khaled or something, you know what Khaled. I mean? You know, getting beamed up, and they're going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> While they're sitting there like an idiot. Right. Cause, hey, That's why the, I say they're fools. The, the whole time, because these are the same guys, they'll be on the comic board. Telling somebody who looks like a, 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 a heathen, saying like, oh, you're Esau, or you're, you're Ishmael, or you're Moab. Well, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You know? Mm-hmm. Trolling your page for years. While they have no works, too, on top of that. Right. right. No works. To, you know? They're, they're, they're scoffing you. You got all this work. You're putting all this time in for the, you know, for your Haobah Shemi al Shai. Well, this guy's got nothing. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I've seen it before. A bunch of R&B videos. That's it. If that. <laughs> Shit, they might not even show their face. Exactly. Or or, or, or or reposting other videos. And so it's and that's why it says we fools are counting his life madness. Mm-hmm. You know, because they are the fools. They're the ones that's talking all this trash. But when they when the Lord come back and and, and beam up his elect, all these people are gonna be looking salty as hell, man. <laughs> you know? Stuck, not knowing no know, know what to do. You know? Uh but uh it says uh uh Wisdom of Solomon Chapter 5, verse 5. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? Mm. And his lot is among the saints. Yep. His lot is amongst the saints. All right. And the saints are Israelites. Okay. The saints are the one that's going to take the kingdom. That's right. That's right. You know. Um, verse 6. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth? And the light of righteousness has not shined uh, unto us. And the son of righteousness rose not upon us. Yep. And, and it, the Lord ain't dealing with them, man. Yep. And they're going to realize that at the end of the day. You know, they're going to be like, damn. You know. Bing bong. You know, it, it's just going to hit them, man. Yep. Because you know, what's going to happen, because they always talk about this, right? Now, I've never had it. You know, maybe some brothers have had this experience. Mm-hmm. They call, You know, when people get those, like, near-death experience, they oh, talk yeah. about, like, your life flashes before your eyes, right? That's what's going to happen with these people. And they're going to think about all their, their acts, their deeds, what they've done in this world. And they're going to be like, damn, I didn't really do anything, you know, for the Lord. And then they're going to realize, it's going to click with them. This is why I'm not getting saved. Okay. And then they, 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 a lot of these guys are going to remember, you know, videos that they've seen of us. Cursing them out, telling them what they need to do to get right. Mm-hmm. They're, they're gonna, you're going to have, um, maybe like, uh, whether it be a video or whether it be like an actual interaction. They're going to be thinking about these things like, damn, I should have listened to them. Okay. And then the heathen are just going to be like, like they're going to be like, you know, damn. Yep. Like, I, I messed up. Because, like, like, man, these heathens do so much wicked things uh, unto our people to this day, man. All right? You know, uh, you know, make, you know, uh, get, getting, uh, you know, getting over us, giving us bad deals, mm-hmm. not pay. You got certain uh, uh, heathens that won't pay Jake, you know, for their wages for the day, you know? Stuff like that. You hear about that all the time, man. Oh, you, they didn't pay me, you know, for, for a, a week's worth of, you know, of work. Mm-hmm. Esau makes sure he take the whole bread and he going to give you the crumbs. Yep. And you the one doing all the work. Exactly. All, all this stuff is going to hit these guys, you know, at some point, man. You know, 
But point being though, this, this, this is going to be, you know, very shocking to this world that, you know, like I said, could any good come out of Nazareth? You know, like what? Could, can, can any good come out the hood? And the majority, I'll say the majority of the brothers, man, they they're from you know the you know the ghettos, man. Mm-hmm. You know, from 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 these you know. Hard these, upbringings. Yeah, these hard upbringings. You know, these, you know, rough pockets, man. You know. Damn, the, damn they're almost every brother. Yeah. There's yeah. only you know maybe of course there's gonna be a couple brothers that that kind of came from a little bit of money, but for the most part, every brother you know came from, you know, uh, the, what they what this world will call the ghetto, man. Mm-hmm. And and and, and best believe. You know, a lot of us were in the streets, man. You know? But that's the beauty of, uh, of of the Lord pulling us out of the street, man. You know? John 15, 16. We didn't choose the Lord. The Lord chose us. I, I can tell you right now, you know, going back a few years ago, I never saw myself being in the scriptures like this. Not ever. You know? But since the Lord uh, chose me to do this work, I, I don't see myself going back. Lord willing, I can stay on this path. You know? Because it is beautiful. We're we're broken free from the 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 everyday uh, uh, wickedness in the world, you know. We're we're free of those bonds. Mm-hmm. We're we're the unlike the rest of the world, the two thirds of our people and, and and the heathens, they're stuck, man. They got the ball and chain, and and, and to be honest, a lot of them they don't they want it, they yeah. like it, they enjoy it. They made this place their rest, you know. Of course, this is Esau's kingdom, so of course this is his rest. But the two thirds. They just like, you know, to hell with it. This this is this is where it's at. I want to be the man of the block. I want to, yeah. you know, keep commit uh, uh wicked uh, uh abominations in the world, you know, committing adultery, celebrating pagan holidays, you know. What's what's kicking this with this weekend, you know? We don't care about that, man. All we care about is, is pleasing the Lord and fearing the Lord. That's the whole thing about it. We fear the Lord. That's why we do this work, man. Mm-hmm. You know, for those that's not doing it, why? Because they don't have the fear. You know, so hey, yeah, they're fools. <laughs> Plain and simple. You know, a matter of fact, verse seven. <laughs> we we weird and this is about what I was just talking about. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where they lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. And that's that's two thirds of our people, man. They and they don't care. They don't care to know. But like the brother was saying, man, Ezekiel 33, man, they're going to know a prophet was among them. Oh, yeah. They're going to be thinking about it. They're going to be thinking long and hard, but hey, it's too late now. Don't, don't go cry now. You know? That's right. You know? But, uh, got anything else? Uh, no, nah, that was the point. You know? Well, no, that's pretty much it, uh, you know, on this lesson. You know, I think we, you know, hit the points, you know? All right? And, uh, you know... You know, it's going to be very shocking, you know, We're, you know, when, when the Lord, you know, saves his, uh, his elect. It's going to, you know, people aren't going to expect, you know, the, you know, these particular individuals being saved, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and then, so, yeah, to answer that, man, yes, there can, so there can be good come out of Nazareth. Yep. That's right. Yep. That's right, man. So, with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying, you know, we're going to end it off with that. You know, and um, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom.